What's up, loves? It's your girl Ashley, and I'm back with another episode of Ashley's Antics. So, a long time no see. Um, I've been gone. I'm sorry. These midterms are hitting different during senior year, and I'm preparing for graduation. So, I've just been booked and busy as I should be. So, anyways, today I am showing y'all how I go from a protective style back to my natural hair and how I get like the dirt and debris out of my hair. So, yeah, right now I'm just rinsing my hair, and I do have low porosity hair, so it takes five ever for it to absorb the water but yeah that's all i'll be doing for now but while y'all are waiting on me to get this water absorbed into my hair y'all should definitely head on down below make sure you comment like hit that subscribe button even share the video and then check out my social media and turn on my post notifications of course So now I'm just splitting my hair into four sections and ignore the camera lens getting foggy. I don't really know how to record in the shower. This is my first time doing this. But yeah, I'm going to divide my hair into four different sections. I'm reminded when I look at you. So now that my hair is divided into four sections, it is going to be way easier to detangle. And so I'm just going to re-wet it because for some reason my hair likes to just be dry after I just soaked it in water. And then I'm going to add the Auntie Jackie's or Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. You can really use any conditioner you want. This is just the one I'm using as of now just because I thought it was pretty decent. It's very, um, gives you a lot of slip. So once I've added a copious amount of that into my hair, I'm going in with my easy detangler and I use it as if I'm finger detangling, like I use it vertically and not horizontally, um, just cause that's what the instructions said and I find that like I get less breakage when I do it this way, but you will see me do it horizontally towards the end once my hair is detangled. So now I'm just gonna do this process on the last three sections and then I will come back. detangled I am going to rinse some of that conditioner out of my hair so that way it doesn't like block the shampoo and then I'm going to go in with the Pantene gold series moisture boost shampoo which y'all should already know I love me some Pantene gold series because it's literally in pretty much every hair video that I do I do shampoo twice and just some tips for shampooing I'd like to start by applying the shampoo to my roots and once it's on your roots it kind of just like drags down the rest of your hair anyways to clean the rest of your strands but really what needs cleaning is your scalp and your roots and less so your like strands so now that my hair is nice and clean I'm going to put that moisture right back into my hair and I'm going to use for the first time the African Pride Moisture Miracle Moroccan clay and shea butter heat activated mask and y'all will just see my reaction to this mask because I ended up really liking it. Forgot to mention y'all i do this section by section i do not shampoo my entire head i do one section at a time because i want to be able to let the deep conditioner sit on my hair for as long as possible so my logic is the sooner i get the deep conditioner in the better So 
so once i've shampooed and put deep conditioner into all four sections as you can see i just clip each section up with one of my little crocodile clips or whatever you want to call them and then i put on a shower cap so that way i can actually take a shower <laughs> So y'all know how I told y'all that I would show you my reaction to this deep conditioner? This is it y'all. I was really feeling myself with this deep conditioner in my hair like for a straight three minutes. I was just in the camera looking at how defined my curls are. And so y'all are gonna get like an up close view of the way the hair looks. Like it looks so cool. <laughs> So anyways, a 10 out of 10 recommend this African Pride Moisture Miracle Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Detox and Soften Heat Activated Mask. Wow, that is a long name. But I 10 out of 10 recommend that you use it because the way it revived my hair, my hair has been acting different ever since. y'all so the last step that i do is i just rinse out the deep conditioner and then y'all y'all please ignore my faces in this video i don't know why i make these disgusting faces while i'm washing my hair but it just be like that sometimes and then i sneeze mid video like what is life but it's okay i have allergies so don't mind me <laughs> Okay, y'all, so that brings us to the end of this video. I'm just gonna put a towel around my head and tie it. Uh, not a towel, a t-shirt. We don't we do not do that hair snatching thing over here, so we're gonna use t-shirts so our ends don't get snatched out of our head. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on my post notifications, and I will see y'all in the next one. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. and I'm all alone.